Hello everybody and welcome to this latest video in our series of question and answer videos with uh, team members here at UPIC in Plymouth, University of Plymouth International College. Uh, today we have with us our student experience officer, Toby Joseph Johnson. I'm Tim, Tim Gutzel, I'm a director of marketing and admissions for the college and I'm going to be asking Toby 10 questions about himself, about his role, about the college and about the future. So, Toby, uh, to get started, could you please introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name, thank you, Tim. Uh, my name is Toby Joseph Johnson. I'm the Student Experience Officer here at the University of Plymouth International College. Sounds as though that role covers a wide range. Could you tell us a bit more about what the title means and what you do in that role? So, by student experience, what we mean is the student journey, essentially. Uh, right from the time that you click on our website or you subscribe or you uh, find our images online or you meet someone who may be an agent or for a friend who just tells you about the college itself. So, I start from that journey of you inquiring uh, all the way into you applying for your visa or trying to make your application all the way into your enrollment and then thereafter hopefully when you progress to the university even while you're with the university I still interact with you and help you with any issues that you may be having and then hopefully and um, my best bit obviously is watching you graduate on the Plymouth Hall. Thanks that's great. What, what do you think of the good things about being a UPIC student? Um, I think the one positive of being a UPIC student is the support that you get, not just for myself but other team members and the partner university. I feel like there's a lot of interaction with uh, students like yourself from various backgrounds that you may come from. Um, I feel like there's loads of resources available in regards to the library services and also the um, services offered by your faculty of where you're studying, what, what you're studying essentially. So, could you tell us a bit more about how you support students who may not have been to the UK before? Absolutely. So, um, I, alongside the team, um, essentially in some cases before your arrival, uh, produce what you call a pre-departure guide. In there has useful information for students who may be arriving as, for example, at the moment we're in a pandemic currently, so we've provided a lot of support for students who may be at self-isolating, mm -hmm. uh, students who may have never visited the uh, UK before, so in regards to inter putting uh, integration plans in place through our orientation week to make sure students are very well versed in what, you know, what, what they should be used to in the UK and mm -hmm. uh, the kind of behaviours they need to have to achieve a good uh, degree. So it's helped with social, with cultural, Absolutely. with all of those kinds of expectations as well as just the practical stuff. Most definitely. Great, thank you. Um, and how do you help students who may not be so confident about their academic studies? Um, so students who may not be so confident, uh, my role alongside the head of teaching and learning is to work with the academic teaching staff and the student to see what uh, gaps there are and how we may be able to fill those gaps. Um, at the college at the moment, historically, we've run a maths and physics club and at the uh, Faculty of Arts and Humanities, I believe, there is an English writing club which helps students who may be having issues with uh, dissertations or essays and case studies. Okay, great. And um, a bit more about you. So what, what, do you like, what do you like most about UPEG? Um, what do I like most about you, Big? Well, for, for, for um, a big one would be I graduated from the University of Plymouth itself. So I, after um, leaving uh, my studies, wanted to stay within the university and the family. Um, I'm not too sure whether you've watched the other webinar, but the head of teaching and learning mentioned that we are a family here. And I think it's just being part of that community. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the inclusiveness we have and the attractive you know, the attractiveness to the products that we have. Yeah, products, I mean the courses here to study. So all of that just makes it a, a, a really good experience. Great. And, and your role, we mentioned it's a wide-ranging role covering lots of different things. What do you like most about your role? Um, I, what, I, what I like most about my role is the fact that no day is the same. Um, I can get various queries from accommodation on one day to visa queries on another. Um, I could be organizing this kind of event, like a YouTube session. Um, I could be working on a webinar to welcome new students or to introduce students to different academic staff in the university of any chosen degree that they're interested in studying. Mm -hmm. Great. So yeah, the variety is really nice. Great. 
And what did you do before joining UPIC? Um, so before joining UPIC, I was a student. Um, I studied accounting and finance uh, in the University of Plymouth. Uh, I graduated in 2010, and yeah, whew, you know, it's 2020 <laughs> now, so time does really fly, absolutely. And where do you see the college in five years' time? So um, I believe you yourself as the Director of Marketing and Admissions uh, will have a strategic plan to hopefully grow and double our numbers in that time. So that is where I see us. I see us uh, growing bigger. I see us offering more uh, products and more courses for students like yourself that might be interested in studying those products. And I see us just developing and you know, becoming a really good support to the University of Plymouth. Great. And tell us a bit more about the city. What, what, what is it that you like about Plymouth? Well, um, you've been here for a long time, so you must like <laughs> some things about it. As you can tell, my name is Toby, which has a Nigerian, uh, Nigerian association to it. I grew up in Lagos, Nigeria, which is close to the sea, and I feel like Plymouth is the equivalent of that, but in the UK. So what I like most about it is the, the fact that the sea is a stone throw away. I like the city. I like how welcoming the um, occupants of the city are. Mm -hmm. I like how um, um, intrigued most of the people around the city are. So to find out your background, to tell you more about yourself, mm -hmm. it's a friendly, safe city. So that, that's one of my big things about Plymouth. And the fact that it's obviously very, um, it's not an expensive city at all, so the cost of living is really relatively good. Great, thank you. So, question number 10, the final question. What would you say to your younger self about being a successful student? Hmm. I'd say hmm, my younger self would be really stubborn, so I probably wouldn't listen to a 33-year-old, <laughs> but um, I'd probably tell my younger self that, um, you know, just take your time, enjoy, enjoy life, take it, you know, everything changes very quickly and it's good to enjoy the, those, the, the position you're in, essentially. Great, thank you, that's really good advice. So that's it, that's our series of questions. Um, we'll post this on our YouTube channel, so please, everybody who's watching, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, uh, and we'll see you on another one of these videos soon. Thank you, thanks thank you. for watching.